Today I'm going to show you how to add items to existing stores and how to add your own custom stores within the QB Shops resource. For the tutorial, I'll be adding a pharmacy, and I'll leave links in the description to the websites for pets, flips, icons, and the scenarios. When adding items to existing shops, you need to figure out which shop you want to add the items to. So the supermarket, gun store, hardware store, or whatever, you need to figure out what the item is called. For the tutorial, I'll be adding wine to the liquor store. Here's what it looks like now with the current items. Once everything is decided, we're going to go to our server resources, go to QB, go down to QB Core, Shared, and then we're going to open the items. And once we're in here, we're going to look for the item we want to add using Control F. So I'll do Wine. And then we're going to go all the way over to the left and look for the name in the brackets. After you found the item name, we're going to go back to the QB section and we're going to scroll down until we see QB Shops. Once we're in the QB Shops folder, we're going to go ahead and open the config file. And once we're in here, it's important to find the config.products for the shop that you'll be adding the item to. So normal is for the 24-7 supermarkets. Um, and liquor is the liquor store, hardware is the hardware store. So here, under the liquor section, we're going to copy whatever's last. We're going to hit enter and we're going to paste. The first thing we'll rename is the number. So you can see it's one, two, three, three. We're going to make this four. And then name is the name of the item that we just found. So it's going to be wine. I'll make the price 10. I'll leave the amount the same. And we're going to make sure we name a slot again to match the number in the bracket. So once you've done that, that's all you need to do. We're going to head and go to file, save. And then either restart your server or start your server up and test it out. All right, we're back in the server. And as you can see, the liquor store now has You're telling me. a fourth item, which is the wine. Now to add your custom store, you need to decide what type of store you want to add and what products you want in the store. To add the products, you need to complete the step we previously did where we went to the items.lua and found the correct names. So again, we'll go to QB Core, Shared, and we're going to open items. Now you can search for the items or look through if you don't know what you want. So since I'm doing a pharmacy type thing, I look for painkillers. And normally everything is grouped into a section with common items. So we'll do bandages, eye facts, uh, and painkillers. After you've decided everything, we're going to go back to the QB section and we're going to go to QB shops. And then we're going to open the config. And once we're in here, we're going to add the category and add the products we want to appear when players open the shop. So I'll just copy this pre-made shop, the liquor store. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to paste it. From here, we'll just rename it to whatever we want it to be called and the items we want in there. So I'll name this pharmacy. And we'll add bandages, so bandage. Uh, IFAX, painkillers, and I'll just put um, let's put wheelchair or something. So once you're in here, you can obviously change the price, the amount you want in the store. So once you have the amounts and the pricing figured out, that's all we need to do up here. Next, we're going to stay in the QB Shops config and scroll down to the locations. So we can add a location or multiple locations for our new shop. So we'll keep going down. Here's where they start. And we'll go down. I'll do it after the liquor stores. So we'll copy the one that's already here. Hit enter and then paste it. From here, again, we'll rename it. So we'll do pharmacy. This is just the name. And the label is what shows up on the map. So we'll do pharmacy the cords is where the shop will be located at we'll do that in a second now for the next part the ped scenario target and flips i did leave links in the description for that so if you need to pause and go look at that feel free to do so um, we're going to go to the site for the peds and we're going to look for one that matches the purpose of our shop so we'll do 
we'll do uh, this one. So we'll just copy this here. Go back and then we'll replace this shopkeep with what we just copied. Now scenario, we can go to the scenario link and then here's what the scenarios are. So we'll do a world team and clipboard. So just copy it again, go back to the config and then we'll just paste this. I'll leave the radius the same. For the target icons, we're gonna go to Font Awesome. And you can search or just look up by the style. So I'll do fill or, okay, there we go. Now, once you find one you like, just click on it. I'll just do this one. And then we're gonna copy this. So we're, it says fast for shopping basket. We'll just paste. And then of course erase the stuff we don't need. So from here and then from here. Now the target label is what it'll say when you use the third eye. So I'll do shop at pharmacy. And then the config.products is what we made before, what you put in the pink brackets. So that was also pharmacy. Now for the blip sprite and the blips, we'll go to the blip site. And again, look for something that matches the purpose of your shop or just put whatever you want. So I'll do 51. That looks like a pill, I think. So we'll change this to 51. And then on that same site, if you keep scrolling down, it's where you can find all the colors. If I can get to them. So we'll do... 27 purple, why not? And then we're going to keep this here, go into the server and find a spot. If you've already found a spot, all you need to do is copy the quartz. All right, so once we're in the server and we're in the spot where you want the ped to be, we're gonna do C slash admin. We're gonna go down to developer options. We're gonna copy the vector four. From here, we're gonna go back to the config and then where it says chords, we're going to highlight this and then hit paste. From there, that's all you have to do. We're going to hit file, save, and restart the server. I forgot to add. So if you want to put multiple shops around the map, all you need to do is copy the one you already made. Hit enter and paste. And as you can see with the other pre-made stores, when they're multiple, these names are different. So we'll put pharmacy 2 here. If you want everything to be the same, you can leave that. All you need to do is change the chords. So again, we can go into the server, find a new spot for our second shop and go from there. As you can see, we're back in the server and the blips for our shops are showing up. Here's one and here's two. They're also labeled properly. So we're gonna go into the shop and actually buy some stuff. So I'm gonna throw it out of the pen and we'll buy bandage and painkiller all right so everything's working perfectly and then we'll go to the other one all the way in the north so oh right on top of them okay here's the second one and everything's going to be the same of course and this one works as well thank you for watching i hope this helped you out if you have any questions feel free to comment down below